Well, Peter, I'm just on the way back to uh, the Hexham Abbey, which you can see just down that way. However, walking from the car uh, to Hexham Abbey, just while David's walked on, um, I've seen this, uh, the cross, and for the life of me, it's almost a direct copy uh, from the Tawong Cemetery. So I just, I just felt I had to uh, just take this little um, snippet of film uh, just for you to have a look at. Quite amazing. Peter Racer here from uh, the Anzac Day in Mount Cutha Precinct, and I'm over in Hexham at the Hexham Abbey. And David, you are just going to tell us just a little bit uh, about this beautiful um, chair and the, the history to that. Yep. Uh, this is um, St Wilfrid's um, stone that he used when he was the Bishop of Hexham. Uh, he had this uh, uh, um, carved, prepared for him to uh, represent the fact that Hexham was the place. Uh, and his church, which he, which he built here in uh, AD 7, 8, uh, sorry, in AD 674, um, contained this stone and the other part of the abbey, which is still um, a part of what Wilfrid built, is a crypt, which um, is below where we're standing now. Uh, but this, uh, this stone represents the fact that this was um, a, a bishop's place. Uh, and that he uh, founded something which he wanted to last for hundreds of years. And although the building around us um, is not uh, his building, um, the building he built was in stone, which was unusual. Uh, for a while, um, people had a vision of this place as being the finest building north of the Alps um, as a church building, which is extraordinary for a small place, as Peter's already mentioned, a small place like Hexham. Uh, so this represents um, Episcopal authority. It also represents, for a time, sanctuary, because this was the place within the Abbey where people who had been um, accused of a crime or had fallen out with their neighbours could run to the church, um, come to the seat and claim sanctuary. And for a period of 40 days, uh, nobody was allowed to touch them. Nobody was allowed to arrest them or uh, beat them up or uh, fine them or anything until they had worked through whatever issues there were to do with sanctuary. So this was place, this place was sanctuary and the, um, the old name for that was Frith. To claim sanctuary was Frith um, and this is called for us here the Frith Stool. Amazing. So you'll learn something every day. Uh, and with that, we'll uh, finish off this little posting and uh, move on to the more substantive uh, recording that's going on. Opened by the Queen. You can see the pivot point over there. Pivot point over there. And that's the counterweight to the walkway. One of the attractions of Newcastle on Tyne is the bridges. Especially this one, which may be a bit familiar for anyone living in Sydney. 